Hey guys, welcome back. Today I'm officially starting my Tesla series. My goal for all my videos is and has always been to systematically explain the companies and products I feel strongly about. That's why I worked on SpaceX and that's also the reason why I'm making this new series on Tesla. Making these videos is as much of a learning process for me as it is for you, so I welcome any constructive suggestions and criticism in the comment section. It always feels good to learn something new. Alright, with that said, I'm Lei, let's get into today's video. When most automakers have mission statements like this, Tesla's mission is truly one of a kind, to accelerate the advent of sustainable transportation. But how would Tesla achieve that? Even with its newest Tesla Model 3 coming out selling around 400,000 of them every year at a friendly price of $35,000, accelerating the advent of sustainable transportation still seems a little bit far-fetched. If we see Tesla's entire journey as a business plan that goes from point A, which is basically two founders with a seemingly outrageous idea and the fool Elon Musk with $70 million to spare, to point B, which is to make most transportation sustainable. Any seasoned investor would advise against that plan. Nevertheless, let me give it a shot at explaining this in today's video. First of all, just like any other Elon Musk's ventures, Tesla needs to have a plan that is financially viable. But you know what? It turns out Elon has won right from the beginning. This is the first ever blog posted on Tesla's website titled The Secret Tesla Motors Master Plan Just Between You and Me. In it, Elon outlined his three steps to reach point B. First, build sports car. Second, use that money to build an affordable car. And third, Use that money to build an even more affordable car, while doing above also provide zero emission electric power generation options. Since the last point is alluding on his other company, SolarCity, let's focus on the first three points in this video. This three-step master plan can be explained by this pyramid diagram. On top of the pyramid is Tesla Roadster, which was the sports car produced since 2008. Around 2,450 roasters were sold since then and with that money made from roaster, Tesla was able to start working on the second step of its master plan which is to build an affordable car that reaches out to more audience. This is of course the Tesla bestseller, its Model S. To date, 150,000 Model S were sold effectively raising tens of billions of dollars for Tesla. And with this money, Tesla went on to develop and manufacture its newest Model 3, which is priced at $35,000 before tax incentives, effectively helping Tesla break into the affordable car mass market. This is also what I appreciate most about Elon Musk and his ventures. He knows how to put a grandiose dream into an actionable step-by-step -step plan that is financially feasible. However, what contributes even more to Tesla's success is its engineering capability, which I call it, how Tesla skillfully solved three of the most challenging problems that failed all previous electric vehicles. These challenges are range, price, and performance. Taking a look at the existing electric vehicles in the market, it's not hard to find out that most of the existing models in the market operate in the range between 100 to 150 miles on a single charge. While this is enough for most people's day-to-day -day commute, it's hardly enough when it comes to intercity or interstate travels. While Tesla's battery breakthroughs have already put its Model S and Model X way further down the EV spectrum with a range of over 200 miles per charge, this is still not enough for EVs to completely replace the traditional gas cars. Hence, the solution is to build a worldwide charging system which we now know as Supercharge. They are essentially a network of high-voltage, high-current charging stations that situate on average less than 100 miles from one another. The idea of supercharging stations feels weird at first, but if you think about it, it's actually pretty intuitive. Just like the network of gas stations, without them, gasoline cars would be stranded on the road too. Furthermore, there is the battery swap system that basically swaps your depleted battery pack with a fully charged one in a few minutes' time. However, in recent years, it seems to have taken the back seat in favor of supercharging. Nevertheless, because the supercharging stations are high voltage, it charges the car battery much faster. 0-50% to 50 in around 20 minutes, 
0 to 80% in around 40 minutes. As a real life example, driving from New York to Boston is around 216 miles and it would take around 4 hours for that trip. So if you're driving a Tesla, you run out of battery during the journey, all you need to do is take a 5 to 10 minutes coffee break in between. But if you think about it, for a 4 hour drive, breaks like this are expected anyways. Therefore, with the range problem out of the way, it seems the only problem now are with the price and the performance of the electric cars. But the more I research into these two problems, the more I realize that Tesla is superior than traditional gasoline cars in both aspects. Let's start with the cost of a Tesla. Traditionally, electric vehicles are expensive because of the high cost for batteries. However, the $5 billion gigafactory built by Tesla has largely solved the cost problem for the battery, rendering the $35,000 Tesla Model 3 possible. Moreover, electric vehicles cost less than gas cars in the long term because of the cost savings in fuels and maintenance. So I did a little calculation. In terms of fuels, the national average gas price is around $2.6 per gallon and the average fuel efficiency of American cars are around 22 miles per gallon. So a simple division will let you know that for every mile driven in a gas car, it will cost the owner around 11 cents. However, for Tesla, the cost per mile is 4 cents derived from a national average electricity price of 12 cents per kilowatt hour and the estimated 3 miles on the road per kilowatt hour of energy. This means that Tesla will save you on average $800 per year on the fuel cost alone, assuming an annual mileage of 12,000 miles. This calculation is close to many other calculations I can find online. Moreover, Tesla Model 3 costs less than $30,000 after tax credit. This is lower than the national average price of a new car, which is around $33,000. Hence, the price box is checked too. Lastly, on performance, Tesla is generally superior than all of its competitors thanks to its electric engine. All Tesla cars perform 0 to 60 mph acceleration under 6 seconds. This is pretty amazing if you ask me. Tesla Model S has a drag coefficient of 0.26 which is one of the lowest in the industry. This makes the car more aerodynamic with less air resistance. This also makes the car prettier of course. Furthermore, Tesla has the best safe ratings in the industry, partly because it has no traditional engine in the front of the car, which could now act as a crumple zone. This also makes Tesla very quiet and spacious and comfortable. Oh yeah, did I mention EVs generally don't require maintenance at all? EVs are so great I almost forgot the entire purpose of it. It helps save our planet. I mean, the pros of Tesla goes on and on. In fact, the more I think about it, the fewer reasons I can find for anyone to ever buy a gas car again. So let me use one sentence to summarize all my findings about Tesla. Teslas are generally less costly, less troublesome and overall superior than its petroleum competitors. Period. The only flaw I can think of right now is that it does not make the engine noise that many people want. But the cherry on top is, Elon is working on it. Anyways, now if you go back to the goals of Tesla to accelerate the advent of sustainable transportation, you might realize the fact that Tesla is still far from revolutionizing the entire auto industry. I love their cars. Many of you guys who watch my videos probably love Teslas too. But it doesn't mean that the entire human population have embraced the idea of electric vehicles. So Tesla at best puts us somewhere here, in the middle of a complete sustainable future. Let's call it point C. So how is Tesla going to reach point B? Should we be optimistic about a sustainable future? Let's save this for the next video. Alright, thanks for watching. Hope you guys love this topic as much as I do because it's going to take up at least several more weeks of this channel to finish telling the story of Tesla. If you do, give this video a thumbs up and I'll see you in the next video. Again, it's Lei. Peace.